All right, hey guys, welcome again to Fire Alarms and Such, and today we are going to be walk testing my Simplex 4010 Fire Alarm Control Panel. So I am going to be using the same devices from uh, Test 8, which is that request test by Evan Bart 410 so all the same stuff is still up, all the same alarms, all the same poles, yada, yada, yada. We will be testing everything on the system today, though. So first, we are going to throw the panel into walk test. I have already logged in to level 3 on my panel. So we are just going to go right to walk test. We're going to set it to on and signal. So we'll actually go over the alarms. Then it will generate a system trouble to say that you have a walk test active in the system. And the way that the walk test works is, you know, on an addressable panel, each point has its own number. So like this is point 0.8, point 0.7. Point 0.3, point 0.2, point 0.4, and 5, point 0.1, and point 0.9. So you activate your point and it will pulse that point number over your notification appliances. Now, this doesn't affect any of your relays down here, so the door is going to stay up. It's not going to pulse the door. And it's going to go every NAC, not just your audible NACs, it's going to pulse your visual NACs too. So if you have any strobes that you don't want, you know, getting power, no power, power, no power. Disconnect those first um, on a hobby system, of course. So we are just going to start right away. Um, I think we will go, hey, we'll just start with point eight. It's right here. Why not? So you see it did eight pulses. Um, this one, the horn is not sounding because it's not receiving power long enough to start the horn. Uh, that one, the horn is sounding, but all the strobes are going. And just so you can see what the pulse looks like, because I have the LEDs on my key switches through a NAC, so they all pulse with it. So this is 0.7, so you'll see it light up seven times. Now, I just called this point, and if you call it again, like if you do a double call, it'll tell you, hey, you're double calling this point. It'll do two quick bursts to say, hey, you know, you're double calling. All right, let's move on to point two. Let's grab my simplex key. Here it is. Oops, sometimes that happens, it takes a minute. We'll do point six over here, which is one of those key switches. We will go and do point three. Here, oops, dropping my keys. We're hopefully gonna do this uh, before power goes out. We're having some pretty nasty storms roll through today and we're wanting to get this done in case we lose power because that's a, uh, oops, that's my notifier key, because that's a uh, real possibility today. We got emergency lights up. Those are up and charged on the walls. Yeah, let's test our final manual point. If you hear a loud motor kick on, um, that's my sump pump. It's going. So now we are going to test the detectors real quick. We're going to do point one in here. So it just does one pulse. And then in here, because I'm going to be calling two points at once, since this is both point four and five, I'm going to be calling them at the same time. So it's going to do one long pulse and then the rest of the pulses. You'll see. And the AS will kick on too. Come on.
yeah. So that has been walk testing a simplex 4010. Thank you guys for watching. And as always, have a wonderful day. Oh, come on. I didn't wait long enough. Have a wonderful day.